Hi everybody, it's Brad and Krista with Big Family Homestead, and today we're gonna show you how we, well not me, she milks a goat. <laughs> Let's get going. So now that we've finally got our goat petunia in milk, uh, we've been learning a lot about how to do stuff, so we're gonna share what we've learned. We're not experts, but uh, we're still learning, so if you see that we did something wrong, or rather she did something wrong, Please I'm just, tell me. I'm just here to document. It's not me. She did it all wrong. So here we go. There's there's equipment you need to start with. What is that equipment? A milking bucket. A sterile milking bucket. Milking bucket. How do you sterilize that milking bucket? Boil with water. So you boil a bunch of water in there? Yes. Make sure that it's the lid is closed so yes. no critters, no goobers can get no in there? No dust, no nastiness. Okay, and you also have? I have a bucket with soap in it. Soap? Little bit of soap. I have some basic H soap in there. She's gonna give me a bath. No. 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 Little, a few drops of basic H soap. It's a really nice soap uh, with some wash rags. Two ro wash rags, actually. One for each teat because you don't wanna take one germs from one teat and put it on the other teat. So you're saying we're gonna wash the teats? Yes. We're gonna we didn't hear that. We just heard you need soap. Jeez, oh, Pete, we got to work on your video skills. So you need wash rags to wash the teats. You need two wash rags to wash the teats. And I use Basic H soap in the milk in, in the water, not the milk. You wash the milk. I wash. No. <laughs> you wash the teats. We're moving on. This is getting out of hand. <laughs> first things first, you need a compliant goat. I'm going to go get her. Here she comes. Walking down the street, get the funniest looks from everyone she meets. Hey, hey, it's Petunia. Here we go. Alley oop, goat. So, okay, now we've got Petunia up in the milking stand. She's still not really used to being up here, and she kicks a lot, and I really am tired of having a foot in my milk. So I kind of restrained her legs a bit. It doesn't hurt her. Um, you can easily move their legs by squeezing this part of her joint right here above her above her knuckle and moving her leg. And then I just wrap this around and then she can't get anywhere. She can't kick, she can't knock over my milk or stick her foot in it. And like I said, it doesn't hurt her. And she's only this way for a few minutes. So this is something else I do and use to prevent hair from going in our milk. I just give her a good brush, which she loves it anyway. Show me the brush, baby. Show me the brush. It's a brush. It's a brush. There you go. Just to get some of the hair off, because I really don't want it all in our milk. It's pretty gross. Mm-hmm. There you have it. One brushed goat. And just kind of let it come down. Next step. Next step. The teat cleaning. <laughs> the teat cleaning. <laughs> so I have some warm soapy water here. And I have two rags. One for each teat. You don't want to cross germs from one teat to the other teat. No teat crossing. <laughs> what? Well, I'm trying painful. to use the right terminology here. <laughs> That'd be kind of painful. Don't cross the streams, just like in Ghostbusters. Yeah, right. So you just wash each of the, the whole udder. And then the teat. That way it's nice and clean. And then this rag is done. I throw it over there. And then I've got the other one. You can use any kind of soap you want. I try to use soap that you are able to, that's not gonna harm you. That you could actually eat? Yeah, and I wouldn't use bleach. I wouldn't put bleach on my skin. I definitely wouldn't put it on my goat's skin. Definitely not in your milk. Definitely not in your milk. Now, I have some wet rags that um, just have some warm water on them. That way I can clean all the soap off. So I take the bucket that I just washed her teats in and I give my hands a good rinse. That way they're pretty clean and don't have hair. 
all over them. Now, to make sure that there's no dirt or anything inside the teat, you give the teat a squirt out onto the ground. Or now, in a cup. Now how are you doing that? Let me, I'm zooming okay. in. Cap off the teat with one, with your um, index finger and your thumb. Okay. Cap it off and then squeeze. And roll, squeeze and roll. Okay. <laughs> Who knew milking a goat would be so much fun? Yeah, right. So I have my sterile bucket, and I just take off the top, and I just sterilized this this morning. It has a bit of water in it, but that's all right. Okay, so cap off the teats, and then squeeze away. These poor guys are sequestered from mommy while mommy's being milked. They don't like it. You'll be with mama soon enough. So we've been milking for seven or eight minutes already and I've gotten quite a bit out of her teats. We've got close to a half a gallon here. Um, now one thing I like to do when, when it's getting a little small is I'll take the bucket out and kind of Tap on her her udders like the um, why, like her kids would to get more milk out. It doesn't it hurt stimulates. her. Stimulates. It stimulates to milk to drop. Mm, and this does not drop. hurt her at all. Nope. That's what the babies do. They come yeah, over there oh and gosh, ram her. They're they're rough. They're pretty aggressive. So, but I move the milk bucket so that no more hair falls into it. How do you know when you're done? When I can't, when it's only a small trickle that comes out. Like this side here is just about done. Gotta leave some for the babies too. Yep. Hear them over there. <laughs> they're so mad that they're not over here too. Okay, so now that the milk is ready, or now that you're finished milking her, the, the key is to getting this milk inside and getting it cold as fast as possible so that it doesn't have that goaty taste. Uh, my family does not like that. Um, when it's chilled properly, it tastes like regular cow's milk. So there it is, How to Milk a Goat 101, done by the hands of a professional. Well, I don't know about that, but the goat's milked. We're gonna get the milk inside and get it chilled out so it doesn't taste goaty. I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead. I'm Krista. Uh, yeah. Oh, don't forget, please share the video, like and subscribe. It really does help our family out. Have an amazing day. Bye. Hi, girls. How you doing? Looking good, ladies. Looking good.